Well, first things first, for, for people that don't often work out or, or, or diet, what would be the first steps to get into that in your eyes? Well, I, I don't think... Um I don't think it's difficult to start being healthy, and, and I suggest if you're someone uh, who's going to start off and kind of wants to press that button, that reset button, to get you moving and started in the right direction, get you dropping a little bit of weight, feeling good, resetting your, your metabolism, your, your palate, your digestion, your whole body, get yourself a blender. Go out, don't need to buy an expensive one, $30, 40 $50, and it will pay for itself in spades because the meals themselves are so much cheaper to prepare and, and it's a lot cheaper than a health club membership. Um, you're going to start for five days. You're going to do the body reset diet, completely transforming the way you look and the way you feel. You're going to have three smoothies a day and two crunchy snacks a day for five days. And then the next five days, we're going to start replacing one of the smoothies with a solid meal. And the last five days, we're going to replace two smoothies with solid meals. So at this point, you're kind of at the point, the, the place where you can continue with that healthy lifestyle, that jump start that you've started. And um, I partnered with Shackley 180 because they really give you the tools that you need to keep that maintenance program going. You're not always going to have your blender with you. You're not going to lug it around, have it with you in the office. Uh, you don't always have those ingredients with you to make the smoothies. So you can bring with you a shake bottle. It's really simple with the smoothie uh, mix, and you've got the crunchy snacks and the, and, and, uh, the bars and the, the crisps. So you've got all the tools you need to keep the weight off. Now, you mentioned uh, the word tools. In a world that we live in with Twitter and Facebook and all such, such social media, how can you make that work for you in your in your um, daily routine um, how do you make the technology work for you correct well I mean technology is a great question that's kind of how we got to where we are in the first place this we're very uh, overweight and unhealthy and uh, we have the leading rate of heart disease and diabetes in the world so it's time to use technology uh, as our friend and get us out of this hole and we can do it so many different ways. Number one, uh, using a pedometer, using a little tiny device that uh, counts how many steps you take a day. I mean, I keep this little tiny thing in my pocket. It's a Fitbit. You can use whatever you want. But that's one way to use technology is to use devices like this to help keep track of your activity or inactivity. The second thing I'll have you do is use your phone. Use your phone and get some great apps. There's so many apps out there that can help you with recipes and keep track of your activity and tell you how many calories you're burning. Or the Shackley 180 app is great because it actually keeps track of everything you eat over the course of the day. It gives you a calorie value of everything. It'll tell you how many calories you burn from doing different activities. And logging is such a great tool. People who keep track of what they eat tend to be 50% more successful on a weight loss program than people who don't. Get a friend, and that friend can be someone who lives next door to you, or it can be someone you meet on Facebook, or someone you Skype, or Twitter, or email with. Someone who's accountable to you, and you're accountable to them. And I can't tell you how important that is, because when you're not in it alone, it makes a big difference. And you've worked with tons of stars, uh, especially like Jessica Simpson and Kim Kardashian, who are now pregnant. How would you uh, handle working with them and other pregnant uh, uh, women? Well, I think when you're pregnant, your dietary needs change significantly. Um, you need more calories a day. You're eating not just for yourself, but for the baby. There are some food limitations, restrictions that as a pregnant woman you, you want to stay away from. There's some nutrients that you really need more of. Um, you definitely need more folic acid, folate in your diet. Uh, so we modify things, but absolutely most of the body reset diet are, um, are things that pregnant women can and will, would benefit from, from definitely the, the smoothie diet, and especially as their appetite changes and their palate changes, and sometimes they crave sweet things. We have peanut butter and jelly smoothies. We have pina colada smoothies. Um, so it's definitely a tool that people at every stage of their life, whether they be pregnant or not, uh, whatever age you are, gender you are, there's always a benefit that you can have from being on the body reset diet. And finally, when people are going to do, do uh, your diet, um, they might be apprehensive at first to do all the smoothies and stuff like that. What would be the first thing you, you would say to them to make them a little more comfortable about having, having many smoothies and not like full meals at first? 
Well, the first thing I'd say is the smoothies are full meals. They're, they're not, this is not juice you're drinking. This is not a, a cleanse. This is not a fast. You, we are taking whole meals. We are taking uh, fruits and vegetables and, and lean proteins and all the things that would fill a plate, and we are putting it in the blender, and we're doing that to save time in preparation. And also for our quick on-the-go lifestyle, you can take it with you. So there is no food group you're missing, and that's what defines really a fast or a cleanse is one food you're having a lot of. You tend to be missing out in nutrients this has absolutely everything so there is nothing controversial about it there's nothing unhealthy um, you're getting everything you need the second aspect is is I would say um, the proof is in the pudding and we've worked with a lot of people transforming them who've succeeded big time on this program and and the last is my background you know I'm not a trainer giving out nutrition advice I actually have a master's degree in nutrition um, I was a nutrition scientist for the military for several years this is what I do um, it's not just a personal interest of mine so everything that I uh, I talk about I write about is completely based in science and substantiated by uh, evidence-based knowledge and, and uh, it's not just an idea I came up with in my sleep very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. And like you said, the proof is in the pudding. And uh, continued success, and uh, we'll talk again. Thanks, Russ. Thanks very much. Thank you.